What's up, y'all? It's Ty. In this video today, we're going to be talking about King of the Court and what my lineup would be if I was to go out and play this weekend. Now, I'm pre-recording this on Friday for tomorrow, but here's the situation. I'm busy this weekend, which is part of the reason I don't like the way that 2K does King of the Court, because if you're gone during the specific time King of the Court is, you can't do anything about it. Like, you're just, you're out of the week. So it is what it is at the end of the day. I'm gonna get my 92 plus overall hidden gem, I guess, from the Celebrating Derrick Rose set, which I'm almost got done already at the time I am recording this, a couple of hours after those were released. But I'm gonna be going over what my squad would look like. Obviously, I've got some extra MT as well that you guys can see uh, that, that I've been, I've been working the auction house quite a bit. So you guys can see kind of my auctions, got some more to claim in here. I'm trying to get all the, rid of all of the emeralds that I did uh, indeed tonight. But yes, got a bunch of MT. So if I were to play in King of the Court, there is uh, an addition that I would make. Now, who would that be? It's kind of a tough thing to talk about right now. I probably would add either Scottie Pippen or LeBron James or a power forward. So either Siakam, Malone, or either the small forwards. That's probably who I would add. Now, along with those guys, Let's talk about the rest of the team that I would uh, run. Now, let's plug in King of the Court. And again, I'm going to talk about where LeBron or Scotty or the power forwards would be. At my starting point guard position, Victor Oladipo. No if, and, or buts about it. This card is going to play until he literally can't anymore, which will be a while. This card is so, so, so good. I'm really glad I got him in the first King of the Court event that we did have. This card is an absolute beast and definitely a card that, again, like I said, is going to run for the foreseeable future. A lot of the, my other guys, I don't think are quite as good as some of the other guys that I'm playing against, but Victor Oladipo is one of the best point guards that I have used, and probably the best point guard that I have used in this game. T-Mac at the two, just an absolute beast. 94 three ball, 97 driving, 90 ball handle. So elite on both ends of the court. I did put my Hall of Fame on ball menace on the card as well. Could maybe put some other Hall of Famers on him. It's something I've thought about. Maybe handles for days, maybe uh, high flying denier. Probably not high flying denier but maybe layup mix master could put some more out of famers on him it's one of those things next week i look if you know content is good and if anybody's going to replace t-mac but if nobody's going to replace t-mac in the foreseeable future i'm going to start to apply my hall of famers so here's where i would want to put lebron james or scotty pippen this is the exact position because right now my small forward is james posey and as much as i like james posey as much as i want to use this card until i can't anymore he just simply is not as good as LeBron. He just simply is not as good as Scotty. And that's okay. James Posey does the job for me. He would 100% be in my lineup if I were to play in King of the Court today. And look, in the past, he's led me to so much success. His release is so chicken. He plays great defense. Just the guy you can have out on the court that can play at a high level. Power four position. Another position that's pretty rough for me right now. It's another position why I would want either Carl Malone or Pascal Siakam move both Sharif and James Posey to the bench if either of these two things were to happen. Thing about Sharif is he's all the way badged up. He is going to play until he can't anymore. 83 three ball, 83 ball handle, really solid defensively. Another card that I've got that literally is going to play until he can't any longer. Just applied that last gold badges to a badge to him. So now my Sharif has 24 gold badges. About as soup of a Sharif Abdul Rahim as you are going to find. At the center position, Tim Duncan, the new addition that I did grind out in Domination, would be my starting center today. He's the reason I don't need the Shaqs. He's the reason I don't need the Wilts. He's the reason I don't need any of those top level centers. The only thing I would do from here on out for Tim Duncan is badge the card up. That's the only other thing that I would do for this card because like I said, he does everything I need him to do on the court. Plays at such an elite level for me. Knocks down some shots, plays incredible defense. And you know what? When he is all the way badged up, he looks like one of the best bigs in the game. Do wish he was maybe slightly faster, but you want a guy that's gonna compete against Will, compete against Shaq, compete against all of those top level bigs. Tim Duncan is your answer. Now to the bench unit. Archie Clark's my bench point guard. Now, if I were to play today, I would badge up Archie Clark. I would if I were to play today. Now, I don't want to waste badges on him, and I don't love Archie Clark at the time I'm recording this, so I'm pretty hesitant applying any badges to him because I don't want them to go to waste. For example, if I pull like a point guard out of, um, if I pull a point guard, let's say, out of this challenge, I don't want to have, oh, well, I just wasted a bunch of coins on Archie Clark. You know what I'm saying? So like, I like Archie, but I'm not just going to, to run him if I don't, you know, or apply a bunch of badges to him if they're not needed. Bad part about Archie is he can't dunk. Good part about Archie is he competes really well in the defensive end of the court. He has a decent release. 
Overall, Archie Clark for me has been really good. Solid backup point guard. At my backup too, John Long. Guy that I didn't play a week ago uh, in King of the Court, but a guy that's in my lineup right now. 6'5", 86 3 ball, 85 driving neck, 86 blando. Defensively, I don't love him, although he has an 87 perimeter, 89 speed. Like, he looks really good. Thing about John Long is this. This card doesn't have a lot of those defensive badges on the card. So if I do want to, another card that I could possibly badge up, use in the future. If I did badge him up, it'd be On Ball Menace. It'd be Limitless Range. It'd be some of those badges that could just help him compete a little bit. And if you don't know what John Long is like, he's basically a Brandon Roy clone. Has a good release, pretty smooth. A card that I actually don't mind and the more I've used, I really am enjoying the card. So here's the situation right now. If I had LeBron or Scotty, I'd move James Posey to the bench unit, right? That, that's exactly what I would do. And there are some solid, uh, there are some other solid cards that came out today. I don't want to sit up here and act like, you know, it's just those top two guys. There are some other solid cards that I really don't mind whatsoever. Like even, even an Andre Kirilenko, if he was a decent price, I'd pick him up. But I'd still ride Jason Tatum today. 84 three ball, defensively not great, not badged up at all. This is the kind of the main reason, guys, that I would want to have a better small forward because my backup small forward stinks. I'm so much more comfortable with James Posey than I am with Jason Tatum. And so that's why I'd want to pick up a small forward to replace one of those two guys. But even a guy like Andre Kirilenko could definitely make the squad if uh, if I were to play in King of the Court uh, this weekend. So that's the other guy that I could maybe eventually pick up. But for me, obviously going to save the MT since I'm not playing today in King of the Court. Next guy I do want to plug in here is LeBron James. He'd be my backup power forward or Jawan Howard. Like the more I use LeBron, the more I'm like, I honestly think this Jawan Howard might be better. I don't know. Between them two, I don't necessarily love either one of them. It's another reason that I'm trying to upgrade the small forward power forward position right now. That is my weakest position. I guess I'll plug in Amy Brown. He's okay for now. I'm a backup center, Jeff Rulin. Kind of sold me last weekend, but that's okay. Jeff Rulin is a guy I trust to go out there and compete on the court. Mine is a soup Jeff Rulin. He's going to knock down shots. He's going to play good defense. And guess what? He is going to be able to compete with the Wilts, the Shacks, those top centers in the game. Jeff Rulin, my backup center. So when I look at this squad, the two positions I definitely look to upgrade is the power forward and small forward position. There is no question about it. And obviously, Siakam, if I could get him, awesome. Carl Malone, I think, is fantastic. Even an Al Harrington could possibly make my squad if I were to upgrade it. Maybe even like an, a combination of Andre Kirilenko and Al Harrington would do wonders for my squad. But also, guys, I would grind this out and see who I got out of this 92 plus pack as well. So yes, this is the temporary squad, but there is so much of evolution that could happen to this. For example, if out of that big time ge uh, hidden gem pack, I pulled, let's just throw out a name like Diamond Kwame Brown. Well, guess what? That then solves my power forward position. And then I turn my attention to that small forward position. So that's just kind of what to look at this weekend. Sad that I can't play, but it is what it is. Drop a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you're new and as always, man. I love you guys. Have a blessed day.